Hi, it's Mike from Esri Canada. I'd like to show you a tip you can use to update logos and story maps and other applications using a shared theme in ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. This is a uh, story map that I was working with previously and a colleague of mine noticed I'm using an older Esri Canada logo as my brand in the upper right hand corner. Now he's given me a new uh, logo, a refresh version that we can see here that I'd like to use. So we can see there's some differences between the new logo and our old, older logo. So I could update this directly in the story map. I have a few ways that I can do this once I start getting into the uh, edit settings here. So any of your web applications will have edit settings which will be similar to these. In this particular story map, I have the header and we can see my existing image is being used through a direct link to a web accessible folder that I've stored this on on one of my servers. Now for the new logo, I could put it on a web accessible folder. I could upload it as well as an image, but there's a greater way that I could do this that makes it easier for others to take advantage of this logo in my organization, and that's through a shared theme. So what I can do is within my ArcGIS Online organization, same would apply in ArcGIS Enterprise, I can go into my organization settings as someone who has the administrator privileges. And within the settings, I can get into the general tools. And then towards the bottom, we'll come across a shared theme section. So this shared theme is powerful and that allows you to apply the colors of your organization's brand or company to, to give you that branding that you might, might need. We're gonna concentrate on the logo section down below and here's where I can provide a URL to an image or I can upload a logo as well. In my case I'll upload the logo and then I'll save that and what it does is it uploads the image to my ArcGIS Online organization, shares it publicly and it becomes available to be used really throughout. So we can see the URL here. If we go back to my content we'll see that it gets listed as an item. So we sh see that shared theme logo, we see that it's shared with everyone, and we'll even notice here we have the URL that we can copy. If we take a look at our image, we can see it available here. And likewise, when we go back to our um, settings on the image, it's just worth noting here that it's automatically checked to not be deleted accidentally since it's being used as this organization theme. So going back to my story map, now that I have that image uploaded, I could take a refresh to the story map, go into my edit settings. And what's interesting here is this time, since I have an organizational logo being used, this becomes available as an option for me to use which will allow me to have that logo available directly to me there. Further to that, I may want to have a specific URL to a web page that's used when I click on that logo in this case. So I'll apply the changes and we'll see in the upper right hand corner, we have the new Esri Canada company logo that we've been using. I'll save the changes to my story map. And now when I view this story, and we see how the public will see it. We can see that new Esri Canada logo in the upper right hand corner. I can click on it. It'll take me to that specific page that I wanted to direct people to that might've clicked on our logo. And that's how we can make these changes using an organization's logo and a shared theme in ArcGIS Online, also in ArcGIS Enterprise. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video, and if you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see more Esri Canada videos, subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button. Happy mapping!